G'day everyone. Today we're going to look at version 11 callouts. But first of all, what are callouts? Callouts are a focused view of an area you wish to see enlarged. So take this simple drawing here, cabinet number 80. We want to see the shadow rails from that right hand side there. So we're going to need to create ourselves an elevation line to see this. So let's go to the elevations, manual line, and add one up there. And we're going to place that down here on the plan. Now we're going to need a little bit more detail. So using the breadcrumb bar here, we can go to the elevation view. Now if we zoom in, I can do some dimensioning in here. But first of all, I'd like to make my snapping a little easier. So I'm going to focus in on the shadow rail components. Now during my dimensioning, I get my references and get my dimension. I can further edit my dimension to change the text, change its angle to upright. I can also hold down the control key and reposition with the left mouse the font. Now that that's looking better, I can go back to the plan view down here. Let's clear that screen. Now back on the plan view, we're ready to do the call out. It's waiting for two pieces of information. First of all, the source. Second of all, the destination. So when we click on the call out tool, and draw a little box with the left mouse being held down and same again for destination. So there's our call out. Now if we're not happy, we can readjust it. We can change the size of the source and the destination which also influences the source. Now the line's currently going through the cabinet there, so I'm going to reposition it up there. And you'll notice the line has also automatically changed with it. Now what we want to do now is start editing the callout. If we double click, we get the callout information. We have changes to do to the destination and also the source and the general appearance. We're going to start here with the appearance. In the visibility I don't want to see the label at the bottom, so I'm going to turn that off. We're going to leave the others on because they're suiting what I want to see. On the line, I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to put arrows on the end of it and I'll make them a little bit bigger for visibility. In the source, I'm going to change the style of the line to red to match the rest of it and I'm going to leave the actual style alone. In the destination, I'm going to do the same trick. Now you'll see that I've changed that all to red. Now if you wanted to save this sort of a preference in, you can do. If we come up and right click on the callout and format the tool, you can see the blue color here signifies that we're in the default tool. So this is before it's being used next. So if I execute the same changes, changing the lines there to red and in the source to red, in the appearance, red. Then all we need to do is right click, save as. Now we can make this one called red. Now the next time we use the call out tool, it'll be in red. But if we right click, you can see we can quick launch other colors or other settings. And if there's only 10 in view at any one time and you've got more than that, you simply click on the load button and you'll pull in any of the other ones. So if we carry on with another call out here, you can see it's automatically red. We could alternatively do what I've prepared earlier and look at a blue format. All right, that's callouts. Thanks for listening.